What's up guys? This is gonna be how to bypass your governor. Shout out to that blue bike. He told me he showed me how to do it, so from what I took from his video, link in the description by the way, that you just need two zip ties, cut the end off one and use the other one. So my friend Cody wants to do that on his mini bike. So that's what we're about to do. And hopefully nobody gets killed out here. And we are going to make sure that it doesn't mess with idle or anything. I will show you what to do on, my, on this mini bike because it's got the gas tank. It's my old mini bike, but I traded it for a go-kart. But, with anything else said, let's get into it. So with all this being said, I'm supposedly to take this zip tie and put it through this spring. I'm hoping that it works, but I'm just going to take that blue bike's word so hopefully it goes well we're about to put the spring through and I'm going to show you guys where that governor spring runs to on this racing go-kart so that little rod up at the top is a spring that you'd want to tie so that would mean that it wouldn't change your idle or anything from what I understood so I'm going to take this little end right here and hook it up to the other zip tie, which is this one right here, and then I will cut it with those red clippers right through that there spring. So yes, we are gonna have a dry grace, hopefully. Now that that there spring sure that is taken care of, to pull it back out, I will leave it be, and I'm about to add a return spring, only. which I did not record. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So we're about to give it a we test shot and see if it works. For now. Stuff like that is testing purpose. This is a bike, so it's a little bit more scary with the brake like that. So we're watching that blue bike's video right now. Or I am, because Keith doesn't really help anymore. Like we he used to because I haven't been doing a lot. Yeah. But watching this video right here. Which link is in the description, like I said earlier. It should be. So here's us trying to start the bike. Cody wouldn't start his own bike, so I had to man up and do it myself. Hopefully for no big smoky burnouts. Which, no, it didn't happen. So it'll be fine. Look like a scientist trying to put together some racing engine or something and yes I am starting on the green roof again while we're, we are waiting So this is the first test after the governor bypass. I hope he wrecks. Hey, Cody. Cody. Is it faster? Faster. Go take it down the road one time. Take it down the road one time. Just take it down the side. Well, I think it worked. I don't know why there's a Budweiser car here. Yeah, it looks real good. With the oil smoke. Man, I think you blew a ring. Yeah, that thing's not fast, 
Go over there, kick hands. I don't know, which lot faster. You want to speed test it real quick? I'm just going to swing out the ball on the side of it. That's not going to do it, as long as you don't run it under five. Get a tachometer for it. Well, this will probably be the last time I ever see this bike again. Wow. Cody probably ain't coming back after me. Yeah, right, you're going to abandon us, Timmy. You're probably going to abandon us after today. So with all this being said, we put this mini bike in the back of Cody's junky truck that he needs to clean out. Sorry, Cody, if you see this, but you know how it goes. So hopefully I'll see my bike again. This may be the last time I ever see it, but I just know that it was nice in this video. I'm sure I'll see it again, though. Just gotta spice up the video a little bit. So with all this being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Cody's scared that his flywheel is going to explode. So I told him to get a tachometer and just not run it over 5,000 like I do my go-kart. I personally don't agree with the 7,000 RPM method like that blue bike said. Because they don't even run racing engines that high. But you can do whatever. It's your body if you want to mess it up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Monday.